this week's Bushel Up is a little cooler edition of Bushel Up. We finally uh, got a little break from the heat here the last couple days. Uh, certainly uh, nice and cool out in the field, about 55, 60 degrees this morning. Uh, a lot of dew, uh, a lot of moisture out there, and we'll certainly take that. Uh, maybe help us get caught up a little bit on irrigation, and, and if nothing else, give us a little bit of a, uh, a break and a nice crisp morning to come out and, and work in. But uh, where's this crop at? We talked a little bit about that mid-April planted, April 17th. Uh, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel a little bit here. We, we're in that dough stage, uh, really starting to bulk these kernels up uh, and, and seeing some progress there. So, um, you know, key to this uh, type of stage of corn is make sure we still have uh, uh, water, nutrients. Uh, we'll keep taking the sunlight, uh, really keep packing that starch into these kernels and and uh, right now what we're chasing is that big kernel depth, that deep kernel uh, on a lot of these hybrids. That's where a lot of the flex comes nowadays, not necessarily in rows or in length, but in that kernel depth. So uh, still making some applications of Pivot Max, still making sure we have our nitrogen out there available to the plant and, and keeping that plant healthy and going here uh, for a good another uh, 30 days uh, while we finish filling this out and then we'll kind of see where we're at. Uh, when we look at the uh, this mid-May uh, type plant of corn here at Owner's Acres, you see we're just into that blister stage, uh, just starting to uh, get some elongation on these ears and starting to put these kernels out. So long ways to go here. Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of the story of the Nebraska-Kansas uh, corn crop. It's had the kitchen sink thrown at it, everything from hail, uh, you know, month-long planting window to uh, mid-June. Now down in Hastings, uh, replanted June 21st. Uh, we're actually seeing that tassel just hit full tassel here uh, the last couple days. So a uh, lot, lot to watch on, you know, just adjust field by field with, with our management. Uh, keep working hard. On the soybean side, uh, still seeing uh, a few insects feeding. Uh, obviously, we're starting to bulk up pods there too. So if you are fertigating or looking at putting some additional nitrogen, uh, hopefully you've kind of been doing that if you had some earlier beans, if, if, if you have some later planted beans. I uh, recommend getting the, uh, the nitrogen, the sulfur out there. Again, when we talk high yield beans, uh, there's still an opportunity to uh, add some additional nitrogen. They create their own. Uh, but when we start talking, uh, if, you, if your yield goals are in that 85, 90, 100 bushel range, uh, a little supplemental nitrogen right now uh, to make sure we fill these pods out. As you see, we're just starting to get that bean formation. Uh, so beans are going to take a lot of water right now. Uh, anything we can do management-wise to, to help uh, increase this uh, bean fill. Uh, again, a lot of the flex in soybeans come from your soybean size. So uh, again, that's what we're looking at kind of on our crops right now. Uh, southern rust was reported in Polk County and confirmed last week. So uh, we're keeping an eye out for disease, no major outbreaks, uh, kind of keeping our eye on tar spot. Uh, finding a little bit of that here and there, uh, kind of to the east, uh, but we'll we'll definitely be keeping you updated. Again, if we do get a, a infiltration of southern rust, uh, tar spot, uh, we'll still be uh, suggesting treatments because again, like I say, we got a good 30 days to go before we ever think about uh, kind of taking our foot off the pedal here. So, hope everybody has a safe week. Enjoy the cool weather here today. Uh, get buckled back up. Looks like we got some heat coming, but uh, we'll sure take today while we have it.